Stay with us also on the way. There was a time when I was sure. Meredith Braun, one of the original cast members of A Muppet Christmas Carol, will be with us as the film marks a quarter of a century. A special screening taking place tomorrow. It was a Christmas blockbuster that saw Kermit and Miss Piggy pull off a classic this year. Believe it or not, marks 25 years since The Muppet Christmas Carol was released. To mark the anniversary, a special screening will take place in London uh, uh, this coming week. It will uh, be introduced by Meredith Braun, who played Belle, Scrooge's poor, neglected fiancé in the film. Well, the actress and West End star is marking the milestone with a new album as well and is with us now. Lovely to see you. Hi. 25 years, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, yeah. It's completely ridiculous. <laughs> what, what, what was it like at the time? At the time, you were, you were a teenager, you were, you were on the West End. Mm -hmm. I was and in then Les Mis. all of a sudden, you're up against Michael Caine I and know. Miss Piggy. I know, and I was, I'm such fans of them. I mean, I grew up with The Muppet Show. Mm. And at the read-through, I remember, um, I was completely starstruck, yeah. blown away by hearing all these wonderful things that I'd grown up with. I don't know, it was beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, y y the Muppets themselves, you know, have basically timeless <laughs> and endless kind of capacity to entertain. That's, that's quite funny because I did experience Fozzie Bear flirting with me through that scene because it's quite a look up top and that was quite disturbing actually. Yes. As a, yeah. <laughs> so I remember that. I can imagine. We were, we were talking off camera though that you know, it, it hasn't aged, has it? it no. It's, it's kept, you know, it's just as good now as it was then. Yes, and I, I had no idea. I mean, it's a bit stupid of me, really, that it would come back every year. Mm. And every year it seemed to have got bigger and bigger, and my children know it, and the amount of adults that I meet, you go, oh, it's not the Christmas carol. It's sort of the special thing yeah. to people. It's lovely. It's well, really nice. Well, the song that you sing uh, mm. in that film is now part of your brand new album. It is, uh, yes. We'll take a listen to the song, but then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this new record. Here it is. Uh, this is uh, the title track. Uh, it is When Love Is Gone, of course, from the film. There was a time when I was sure that you and I were truly one, that our future was forever and would never come undone. And we came so close to being close, and though you cared for me. Well, how, how does it feel to know that that, that is a song that is ultimately yours you know it's a it's a classic from a film that is yours it's lovely yes and I and revisiting it um, it was like you know getting into a warm bath it's just it's mm. a gorgeous gorgeous song with a wonderful lyric and Paul Williams has been so supportive of me redoing it as well and I, I wrote the arrangement um, on piano and I also wrote the cello part which is played by my son. Yeah, so. yeah, and he's on uh, several of the tracks. Yes, he's on four of the tracks, yeah, yeah where the cello really, he, he does enjoy that. He's at the Royal Academy of Music, and he's 13, oh, so I'm very proud of him. Remarkable, yeah. Where, where does the album go? You know, the second, you know, five years on from the debut, where does it take you uh, after, after that track? Uh, this is quite a different album from the first one. It's a, it's a story, it's a narrative of a, um, of a relationship that goes wrong, of coercive control. I got the idea, uh, listening to The Archers, do you remember the beginning of 2016, there was that extraordinary plot, um, Helen Titchener. Yep. And I, uh, through listening to that, I wanted to tell that story in a sense, but through songs. So the lyrics and the songs tell the story and there's, as it goes through. So the 14 songs are actually, a, in that sense, it's a concept album. Yeah. So it might, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with it now, but I think it may come to performance or certainly be a, a show perhaps with a sort of vaginal monologues with music. Yeah, <laughs> it's, got, it's got the potential yes, to go on it, to, to, to be to deliver something that. else, yeah, so it's different. Yeah, and I know this, uh, this coming week, I think it's Monday, there'll be that mm. special screening. Yes, yes. That's at the Prince Charles Theatre. Yes, 8.45 on yeah. Monday night, yeah. Leicester Square. Meredith, lovely to see you. Thank lovely you so you. much uh, for coming to talk about it. I can't believe it's 25 years. Happy I Christmas. Just, it, happy Christmas. The Christmas tree's up. <laughs> it's we the can first say time it. I've said it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've had people saying it earlier. Uh, <gasps> Meredith Braun there. You can see Meredith, as she mentioned, uh, at the, the cinema and, of course, the album. Uh, uh, it's called uh, When Love Is Gone. It is out now. Right, uh, stay with us. Still to come.